Jürgen, first of all, can you uh, bring us up to date with the injury situation, please? Yeah, it's better than yesterday. Uh, so Christian trained yeah, quite normally he did, uh, by his, together with John, our, um, one of our fitness coaches, and it was good. Everything was okay. So he's prepared for tomorrow, I would say. So that's the only thing that changed. So, um, Colo, not the most serious injury, but not enough, of course, for tomorrow. So, um, or oh, it's enough that he cannot play tomorrow. Um, and, no, oh, no. <laughs> no, daily Daniel, no. According to um, reports, you've been taking a, a close interest in the medical department here. Do you feel as if there needs to be changes made in order to make sure that there are fewer injuries in the play? I think this is one of the departments who works perfect. I'm not sure about all, <laughs> because I didn't met all, but um, no, everything is fine. And he's working hard and make everything the same as with Chris and his team. And um, so there's uh, no doubt from my side, um, after two and a half weeks, I know it's like it is. So if you have a look on the um, on the um, kind of injuries we have, and you know it's, it's no nothing with the medical department, it's um, because of hits or other things. So, And then it's normal in football, but nobody want to wait, but we'll have to wait and because uh, yeah, recovery or um, rehab needs time. And um, we have these two guys with um, Ingsi and Gomez, they need a long time. What I can see, um, uh, John Henderson and, and Flanagan, they are of course much closer, but not on the pitch in this moment. Okay, Flanagan is on the pitch, but he needs time after this long, long journey with this, with this knee injury. But he looks good. So these boys and girls in the, um, in the medical department, really, they work so hard. And we have to wait for them, but we have to work with the other guys. That's how football works. As far as Chelsea are concerned this time around, are you surprised to see them in the, the position they're in? So <laughs> I'm experienced in this. <laughs> I made my experience. I made oh, yeah, no. I would say we had some more injuries. I would say like, we couldn't play with <laughs> with all our players. That may be one dif difference. But um, yeah, things like this can happen. And um, I, I'm not close enough to Chelsea to, to to know what are the reasons. And I'm not a journalist. And I don't have to think all day about why the things um, are like they are. So um, yeah. In this case, I'm interested, of course, in, in this moment, I'm interested in, in, the, um, in the football Chelsea played the last weeks, and it was not that worse than the results maybe um, uh, will show us. So um, that's what, what we have to do, and that's what we, how we did our analysis. And um, uh, now we feel that we are prepared, prepared for the game, but um, we have to respect the the quality of Chelsea, for sure, and that's what we do. Uh, and then let's try everything and play well, and if it's possible, take the points. Um, irrespective of where Chelsea are in the league at the moment, a lot of recent history makes this fixture a, a big match. Is this one of the reasons why you wanted to come to the Premier League? For playing against Chelsea. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a big match, but at the end it's football, and I'm, uh, I'm in this job since 15 years or more. I don't know, and I had some big matches. And um, first of all, you have um, to respect it as a match, and as a match you can win all, always. That's the, that's the cool thing in football, and that's what I think about, and nothing else, not about. That's what I told you. I don't read the newspaper, so I, I don't know what you think about this game. It's, but it's, it doesn't change anything in my mind. If I knew it, it wouldn't change anything because I'm, I'm um, full of motivation to, of course, to win not only games like this, but to win football games. And um, so, if you have the better the opponent, the more um, excited are the world around us. But um, uh, maybe in history it was a, it was a great game. Now it's I don't know exactly ninth against 
15th. Yeah, that's it. Football, uh, and um, we had a chance. We have a chance to to um, yeah make a, improve our uh, our situation. That's what we, what we what we want to do, and um, don't think too much about uh, about the opponent. We have to we have to look what they are, how they play, and where we can. Um, close spaces that they can't play like they want to, and where we can use spaces they don't like to defend. For example, these things. What I'm, uh, or these are things where I'm, I'm thinking about and not about the stories around. There was a spell in the Champions League three seasons ago when you seemed to play against Jose a lot. I think four times, wasn't it, when Dortmund and Madrid played each other? I think he said you talked too much. At the time, have you talked since? Is he someone you have any relationship with at all? No, when I was in Germany, we, we sent sometimes messenger messages, yeah, um, short messages, and well, I, from my side, I'm full of respect for his work, for sure. And um, I was, <laughs> I think, if you're not a journalist, so he's, he can be a he or a referee, so he can be a nice guy. And that's, <laughs> I'm not, not one of these both. <laughs> and so uh, we had a good talk. And um, yeah, I'm, I like to meet people, and he's a, he's a nice guy. And when, when we saw us, then it was really full of respect during the game. I think he's emotional, I'm emotional, but we are professional enough to know after the big whistle, uh, normal life starts again. So um, you can talk normal about uh, things that, ha that happened. And that's what we did. So, Everything is okay between us, no problem. This will be your, your fifth game in two weeks tomorrow. <laughs> frustrating being with the, a new squad, not having the time on the training ground, perhaps you'd like. I'm nil, nil point nil frustrated. I couldn't be far away from frustration than I'm in this moment. It's the situation, it's no problem. I, if I <laughs> frustrate because of this, uh, yeah, maybe I should have. Uh, stay in, in, on holiday, so, but I don't want. So I want to come here, and I knew about the matches. I saw I saw the matches before I came here. I knew it's not the, are not the most easy opponents in the world, and yeah, that's no that's no problem. Yeah, of course, in a perfect world we would um, try to have more time to train, but that's not possible. But I. Um, yeah, that's really surprising. We have two weeks here, five games. <laughs> but okay, it feels like we are since six, eight weeks, but it isn't. So it, it gets better and better, and we, we learn quick. We as a, as a manager, my coaching um, staff, and um, and the players as well. So we find together. We we find our uh, our way, and now we have to go. And you showed the other night that you're willing to give the younger players a chance. And I'm sure you're aware there are lots of young players out on loan. Are you looking again at those loans in the context that these are players who could be back at, at Anfield playing for Liverpool? Of course. Oh yeah, of course. We are always, um, <coughs> since I'm here, I, I, that's what I mean when I said um, I try to learn all about English football because it's completely different. In, I, I don't know a German team. Maybe Leverkusen a few years ago they had 20 or 25 players on loan all around the world, but it's not normal in Germany. But here it's normal, though it's okay, and we have to to handle this situation. And I'm, you know, as I, I um, as often as I can, if I have time, I have um, um, yeah, when I have time, I, I watch these these players. We have all possibilities to watch them. We wanted to to go to Wolverhampton. Uh, to, to watch Kent, but uh, then he didn't play, so <laughs> stood at Liverpool. So that's the uh, things, but um, that's what we, what, of course, it's part of my job, and um, that's what we do with the guys they are here, and what we do with the guys they are on loan, and then there will be a time when we have to make decisions come back or stay in the club where you are now, try to learn. That's all what we want. It's, it, that's the idea behind that the players um, have to learn. No, I'm not sure in this moment it's always the best to give young players to other clubs because it, it, it's a kind of pressure I don't think you need in this age because you play together with other, with adult players, experienced players and have to all, every day you have to 
so you are better than them at home everybody's asking and did you the next step like me in this situation and you have to say sorry no but i don't know what why and so on so maybe we can cool down the situation a little bit hold these guys longer let them play in our in our second team develop as a team but we will see what we'll do in the future hopefully we have enough time to <laughs> to think about this do you understand how difficult it is for players to get a team under 21 level in this country by comparison to sending them out on loan to see the benefits in the London system or which prefers to see them under 21 level and how different is that in Germany? Uh, okay. I, I, did I open this bottle now? Was, ah, before the Chelsea game? Aye! Um, oh, it's different in Germany, of course, but in Germany it's not perfect. Far away from perfect. Um, so. I'm, I'm not sure it's the right moment to, to talk about this. We will find a moment when we can talk. I, I always have some ideas. I, sometimes they're better, sometimes they're worse. So, um, yeah, but we, try, we will try to do um, our best for our players in the future. So that's, that's all I can say. And we have to think about what is better here, what is better there, what is better in Italy, what is better in France. I don't know where. And what is better in another town in England? That's what we have to. That's how learning um, works. And yeah, but not today. Yeah, but I, you can be sure that um, I think about this very often, and we are in, in, in. Yeah, we talk very often about this with the, with the guys who are responsible for these um, for these um, guys, and so. We are in a good way in this. We are not far away from each other, though we 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 think the same, but. Yeah. Usually, a manager in England has uh, not enough time to change things. So, <laughs> that's um, maybe we should change first and then we can um, yeah, try to take our ideas and uh, change a few things for the future. Yeah, you said earlier you, know, you respect Mourinho as a coach. Um, how, do you, how do you assess him as a coach in terms of his methods and style? And his Oh, I don't know nothing about his method because I've never been in training, um, and so that's I can't say. But he, as but I try when I prepare myself for a, for a, for a, for the next game, when I try to understand how how they play, and not yeah, no, you can see a little bit maybe how they train, of course, but not nothing about relationship between and so on. So that's not how I. How I work, so and that's I don't know enough. I only met him. I played against his teams, and sometimes we could win, and sometimes not. And um, that's how it is. I don't think that anybody knows enough about me to can about my kind of work. It's always speculation, and um, so well, I don't know how he works. Sorry. And even though they're in a, sort of a bit of a different form, does this still represent from from of his game since you've been here? I'm really um, glad that you all think I, I, I'm now I'm native speaker, but you should uh, think I'm, I'm not. Uh, sorry, I didn't understand your question. <laughs> is, uh, Chelsea haven't are in the greatest of form. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, uh, okay, that I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but does it still represent your most difficult match since you've been here? But, so you think Tottenham was easy? Uh, I don't. I don't think before. I didn't think before. And um, Southampton, no, but not easy. So Chelsea's not easy. But if it's more difficult, depends to what we are doing there. So, uh, uh, okay. How can I say? Did the Chelsea player? Do the Chelsea player not know anymore how to play football? No, of course not. So they did well in the last game. That it had very, very good and brilliant moments in the games before, but they didn't um, win. That's not often enough. Yeah. So like last year, you know how Chelsea play usually is very def defense, um, very good defense, very good structure. Yeah, all the things, and then big, big, big individual quality to finish all the situations. You don't only have to talk about Dasa. We can talk about, of course. Um, um, Costa, pff, William, Oscar, uh, whoever. <laughs> it's um, Ramsey, Ramirez, and um, um, 
Matic, all these guys are great football players. And then the set plays with Cahill, Terry and all these big guys. So it's difficult to play against Chelsea, but it's not impossible to win. And not only now, but it, I'm, I'm not sure that it's easier now to, to play against Chelsea. Why should it be than before and last year? OK, full of self-confidence, maybe uh, maybe uh, may make some things different, but um, to be wounded can be, make you stronger too. Uh, and that's for sure in the moment they don't feel um, the life as good as it could be. So, and now they want to change it. That's big motivation. But we are, well, we are motivated too. We want to try something and at the end we cannot decide this game here and now. We have to play, and that's what we. I'm, what I'm really looking forward to. First time there, for me in the stadium. Uh, good moment.